Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Glad you're here. Uh, this morning I got up early, left the house at like 4.30 and headed down here. I'm at Starved Rock uh, State Park and I'm going to shoot French Canyon, but before I get over there, I stopped in a couple of different places to take advantage of this incredible foggy morning that we're having so far. Um, I stopped right along this uh, historical marker. I've shot it before. It's this old grounded airplane that's right in the corner of, a, of an old uh, farmer's field. So, so that was pretty cool. Um, really kind of a blue hour-y type of shot and now I'm here I'm at Starved Rock I'm in inside the park right now and just down by the Illinois River and shooting some of these foggy scenes with the trees and uh, pretty cool just uh, again you know very lucky to get up and have some atmospheric conditions today so I just wanted to take advantage of that and uh, in a few minutes I'm gonna be off to uh, French Canyon, which I've not shot before, and given that it's springtime now, the water should be running pretty well. That's what we're up to, and uh, again, thank you so much for being here, and uh, let's go. So out of all the uh, 18 canyons here at Starved Rock, uh, French Canyon is actually the closest one to the visitor center. It's only like a quarter or maybe a half a mile hike in, in from the visitor center. So, and no snow. So I've got uh, regular shoes on, wearing actually tennis shoes. So this is actually pretty nice. It's about 40 degrees out right now, which is really nice. And uh, the fog is starting to lift. And we should be at uh, French Canyon here in just a couple of minutes. Pretty cool. Got a nice little uh, waterfall going on. So soothing just to sit here and listen to it. It's very nice. Seven o'clock in the morning, foggy Saturday morning. I like it. Let's go get some shots. I found my first composition. It's going to be kind of looking down at the uh, at the falls. There's a natural leading line of the water that is the falls, leads you up into the image and back into the canyon. Yeah, this is a pretty cool shot. The light is very, you know, we're down in the canyon, so the light is super diffused. I'm, I don't know if I'm even going to need any filters. I'd probably just go down to like F16. I want to get a longer exposure. Um, we'll, we'll start there, and then I'll probably throw on uh, six stop or maybe you know the big stop or the 10 stop and really go for a longer exposure 30 seconds or so i'm not going to go crazy with it we're going to get started you can definitely tell when the season starts to change um you know like i said it's 7 a.m and there's already people here so you're gonna have to work pretty quickly and hopefully you know won't have people in my shot but it is what it is, right? All right, here we go. So I just learned that this is actually the small waterfall. So cool. So we're going to get some shots here. Then we're going to go back further down that path that, uh, that the waterfall is coming, cascading down from. And uh, go see the big one. And hopefully fly droney a little bit. Alright, here we go.
Okay, so for this shot, I am going to use a uh, soft grad. The sky is really bright. I'm going to blow out the highlights if I uh, try to expose for the canyon and the waterfall. So, I'm going to put in a, uh, a soft grad, see if I can knock those highlights down in the sky, and uh, we'll go from there. I think either way, it's going to have to be a uh, bracketed shot and then t do some blending in Photoshop. But this could uh, this should be a pretty good exposure. Here we go. So for this shot here, let me show you what I like. So I really like this this screen part coming in in the middle of the shot, and it's just leading the viewer right in and taking the viewer on a soft curve right in towards the waterfall. So it leads you all the way into the back of the image. Um, and then again, I'm still trying to knock those highlights down that are in the background there up by the trees. So hopefully if I can do that, it should be a pretty good image. So that is a wrap for this week. I didn't get a chance to do a sign off while down at Starved Rock. I actually ran into a uh, viewer, a subscriber. His name is George. George is a really cool guy. We had a long discussion about photography. We actually hiked around Starved Rock a little bit together and it was uh, it was just cool meeting one of the uh, viewers. George is actually thinking about getting into the whole YouTube thing and I certainly encouraged him to, to give it a try and uh, throw caution to the wind and just go out there and do it. So hopefully he does. Um, so thank you. Thank you, George. It was cool meeting you. And thanks to all of you for coming by the channel again. And your likes and your comments and all of your support is so uh, well appreciated. Before I let you go, some upcoming events. I am going to a wolf sanctuary this weekend. So going to be some cool wildlife images. And then in a few weeks, middle, towards the end of May, I guess, I uh, will be heading over to Niagara Falls and I'll be doing some shooting over there. And in the meantime, have a few barns I'd like to get out and shoot and a couple of nostalgic locations in the area that I want to get out and, and take some photographs of. And plus, I'm going to be doing some Nikon D850 time-lapse demonstrations as well as demonstrating the in-camera focus stacking with the D850. Pretty cool stuff. I haven't really talked about it. I use it all the time but just haven't done a, uh, a detailed specific video on, on those features of the camera. So those are yet to come. And uh, again, thank you so much for stopping by. It's always good to see you. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, um, I'd hope... So if you haven't... So you should really... If you're if you're not subscribed yet, ah.
Subscribing is easy. Talking about it is hard. <laughs> So if you have it, <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> okay, this is serious. Take three hundred and seventy three. So if you haven't subscribed already, <laughs> 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 all right, that's enough. <laughs>